Today, we uh, have one thing we'd like to discuss, as we talked about last week, uh, that uh, we'd like to take the time to discuss uh, the concept of mindfulness. We can do it when we have a to imagine that from the teacher, by the time of the time of the time. I started by when I investigated uh, meditation 20 years ago. Well, this is what I uh, read up on mindfulness. Yet, if you read, I have a good idea about the whole Muhammad team, the Muhammad team. And uh, just as a case, as a case nowadays, I, uh, there you go to the bookstore and you find all kinds of books on mindfulness from all kinds of authors. When you look up, you know, you might feel you have to shut it. You have to keep shut it. You have to keep shut it. You have to shut it. You have to I'm referring to English language bookstores. I'm not sure about the other types of bookstores. And, um, um, there are different author, uh, authors, uh, and they make primarily most of the uh, books are from lay people who talk about mindfulness and the application of mindfulness. There's a handful of the authors who are monks, actually only a few when you think about that. For the monks, it comes to mind is um, uh, the Dalai Lama and Thich Nhat Hanh, the Vietnamese monk, the Tibetan monk, Đức Dalai Lama, Thế Tà, Trình Bày Kích Pháp. I don't think Dalai Lama talked about mindfulness at all. And you, Đức Dalai Lama, cũng giảng về chánh trị mấy đó. I don't think so. But I know Thich Nhật Hàn talked uh, extensively about, about mindfulness. Uh, Thầy Nhật Hàn giảng rất nhiều về chánh trị. And who, among other authors, who speak about mindfulness? Uh, monks, I mean. Hmm? I can't think of many, many monks who when you read the Vietnamese, uh, uh, there are a lot of monks who explain mindfulness because they basically they jump on the mindfulness bandwagon. So every single meditation teacher nowadays teaches mindfulness, as far as I know. Almost all of them. You can be a good one, 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 you can be a good one. Uh, đa số những cái vị thiền sư giải thiền về dạng về chân niệm. Okay. So, um, it's a very important part of meditation. Let's face it, bởi vậy, cái chân niệm là một cái, uh, because that's uh, the proof. If uh, people are doing, therefore, it must be important. That's why we should spend some time discussing it. Vì nhiều người uh, giải thiền, giải chân niệm chắc là nó quan trọng. Nhưng ta nên bỏ cái thì giờ, uh, so please tell me, according to you, what you've learned, most of you are experienced and have some experience with meditation and Buddhism. So please tell me, uh, what is your uh, understanding of what you learned about uh, mindfulness? And they want to be long Anyone, please. Let's get started. Hmm. What's mindfulness? Hmm? Okay, it's going to be a very short discussion. Okay. I'm prepared for the next topic already, just in case. Yes. 
Mindfulness is synonymous with meditation. Yes, meditation and mindfulness, because that's the way it's taught out there. Generally, one thing, I don't like it. Okay. So, what is mindfulness? Then? What do, uh, what, why do you, uh, what do you do in terms of mindfulness uh, in regard to meditation? Focus on. Uh to try to exclude false thinking, to try to ignore the external. Mm. Mindfulness. Mindfulness is to exclude false thinking, to exclude, the, ignore the external. Chánh niệm là là từ bỏ cái vọng tưởng là không chú ý đến bên ngoài, okay? Is that really mindfulness? Yes. Um, I thought mindfulness is um, uh, mindfulness is focusing on one thought. You know the here and now. Okay. Uh, mindfulness is uh, often equated or translated as the here and now. Cái chánh niệm thường thường người người ngoại người người tây phương nó dùng cái 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 câu là sống cái hiện tại sống ngay bây giờ ý thức cái hiện tại ý thức cái 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 chấp lại. Okay. You agree with that? Moving on. Next topic. What do we have for lunch today? Okay. What? Yes. Mr. Thay, what for lunch today is not in Chinese. Oh. <laughs> okay. The comment is that the the question uh, what's what's for lunch today is not really mindfulness. Okay. What is mindfulness? Thầy chẳng niệm là cái gì? Thầy chẳng niệm là cái năng lượng mà có khả năng để mà nhận biết được cái gì nó xảy ra hiện tại mà ngay bây giờ nhưng mà không có một cái 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 phản ứng nào lại vào cái trường hợp đó Thường thường là thầy hiện trong cái cái bộ trạng thái tức là thân thọ tâm và xã Thì ví dụ như trong khi mình đi đến mình biết mình chỉ biết là mình đi đến mà thôi chứ um, không cần việc mà sai hay đúng hay là ngược chiều hay là thì mình chỉ biết hiện tại là ngay lúc đó là mình đi đến hoặc là ví dụ như trong uh, mình thấy một cái chuyện vui buồn thì mình chỉ biết vui buồn chứ mình cũng không cái tâm mình cũng được bị vui buồn theo hoặc là ví dụ như mình biết mình đánh giận nhưng mà uh, nếu mà mình mình biết mình đang giận mình tìm tìm cách mà nè cái giận lại thì khi lúc nào cũng có nghĩa là chẳng niệm mình chỉ biết mình giận là giận vậy thôi bốn cái thân thọ ý lý và gì pháp và pháp ok về pháp là gì anh cho cái dùng pháp là gì tìm ra Nghe ai, cái này là lời dạy của ai, thì anh tự nhiên cứu sách từ đâu Thì có nhớ cái khoảng cách của Internet nó có nhớ của ai Ok, on the Internet, Trevin, Trevin says that mindfulness is to be aware of what you're doing Ok, in four aspects, be aware of your body Okay, bốn cái phương tiện để mình nhắc lại bốn cái 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 aspects bốn cái phương diện của cái chánh niệm chánh niệm tức là tức là là ý thức được cái 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 mình đang làm cái gì về cái phương diện của cái thân của cái thọ của cái tâm của cái pháp. So the four aspects are Awareness of your body, 
of your feeling, of your mind, and of the dogmas. Okay. For example, he says that to be mindful of the body, meaning that you are aware of your four uh, comportments of walking, as you walk, you are aware you are walking, you are lying down, you sitting or you standing. Cái thân tức là anh ta nói là theo internet mà anh nói là anh ta đọc ra được rồi. Cái thân là bốn cái 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 tư cách, bốn cái 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 hành của cái đi đứng nằm ngồi. Mình ý thức được mình đang làm những chuyện đó. Cái thở, the feeling. He's a little bit confused about feelings. Then let me clarify for you. Cái thở. Okay, anyone else? Okay, yes, Sarah. I 
Okay, I, I, I took it apart of the Chinese character. Yes. And Chang means, um, I, I kind of looked at Korean and Chinese, what means. Chang mm -hmm. means, um, you said proper, but it, it sounds like something, something is right, it's right. Mm -hmm. And it means that there are two characters on top and bottom. The yeah. top means right now, like now, and the bottom part is means mind. So when you literally look at the characters, it's saying right mind, but it, it's it's in you right now. So when you look at that, it. In my thought, it's something like maybe um, means um, something that we have in us, but we cannot really, uh, you know, see it or feel it or, or recognize it because we are not um, enlightened being. So being able to uh, focus on that original mind that we are born with, but we cannot see it. Maybe that is mindfulness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, hôm nay câu về câu nghiên cứu dùng cái chữ hoa là nghiêm, nghiêm văn đó, là chánh niệm. Thì uh, chữ hoa là chánh là không có đúng và chân chánh. Nói chân thành. Đàn hoa. Uh, còn cái niệm là cái tâm của mình. Tâm mình ngay lúc đó. Mình đã uh, theo ý niệm như vậy. Vậy. That is from the language. Did you read up on how uh, mindfulness is explained? Well, you mean like an English way? What is yeah, it? The, the, the different authors who teach mindfulness well, or the, the experts who say mindfulness is this and this and this. Then he's right. What he said, that what he read from the internet, mm -hmm. is what how they explain about mindfulness in, in English. I mean, in, Mm, okay, okay. You are lending credibility to the unreliable source. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we appreciate it. <laughs> so I didn't waste our time in uh, translating and uh, elaborating for him. Yes, anyone else? What is mindfulness? I remember 20 years ago reading a book from a person who studied mindfulness from uh, the Thravadans. He's a doctor of uh, psychiatry or psychology. I so basically he says he teaches you is that application of mindfulness more than mindfulness for lay people for these authors to tend to explain mindfulness on how you apply in your life so the application seems to be along the line you talked about. That is, you should be aware of what you're doing. Okay. 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 Mình phải chú ý đó cái việc mình làm. Agree or not? Thomas, don't be shy. You're a bookworm. You agree with that or not? What is the concept of mindfulness? Um, yeah, I forgot to uh, do any research. I remember you mentioned that in the audio. Uh, but I was just trying to look at the, the Hinayana sources. Uh, right now online. Okay, we'll give you five more minutes. <clears throat> um, we 
yeah, I guess I've heard it in, in uh, the Theravada tradition that just talk about mindfulness is to, to keep something in mind in the sense of to re continuously remember uh, the object, which is usually your breath or liên tục mình nhớ cái mình đang 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 nghĩ được. Okay. Has to do with memory. Has to do with memory. Continue, remembering to continue. Remembering doesn't mean okay. memory. Has this two different things. Memory is is a uh, is a um, is a uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is a mental uh, a mental thing. Remembering is is a mental process. Well, they, they define it as a type of memory. I mean, it's not like memory where you're recalling an event from the distant past, but this, they, they, I, I remember I've heard that a few different times in the Hinayana tradition. It's like a, a faculty of just remembering to keep the mind, uh, keep coming to the same object and holding the mind on, on that object. Mm. Thầy hơi ngạc nhiên, tại vì theo thầy nhớ cái tánh hiểu, cái tánh cái chân nghiệp là mình mình tạo mình... cái tư tưởng như vậy là mình nhớ. As far as I remember, mindfulness is more of an awareness or a forming of the thoughts, the thinking about, the thing you're doing, not 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 remember. I don't I, 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 I think to in my mind there's a clear delineation between memory and actually the process of mindfulness. I don't think that's written is explained like that. Mm -hmm. I mean I, I did find it in the from the Theravada uh, sources that that's how it's 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 memory? Does it say memory in yeah. who? Who says that? This is why I asked for the author and their source very carefully. Um, the, uh, Ajahn Jeff Tanisaro, Tanisaro Bhikkhu, is his name. He's actually, yeah, I was looking through this book, but I didn't find it, but this is. Yeah. Mm, okay. Okay. okay, fine. But I've heard other people also mention that. It's a memory. Well, they don't define the term as memory, what did they say? It has to do with, like, related or something. I mean, it also has to do with, you know, attention and keeping your attention on the object. And the attention, but it's not memory. It's a difference between memory and attention. I think you're interpreting. You're being too liberal. <laughs> yeah, when these awesome. teachings, when you when you investigate the techniques, you have to be very precise about the language you use. Thầy đã nhắc cái gì khi mình nghiên cứu những sách ở đây, những sách ở dùng cái chữ rất là chính xác. Tại cái chữ nó lên một cái là ý nghĩa nó hoàn toàn nó thay đổi. Anh anh theo như ông này nói là cái trí nhớ thì nó cái này phải là trí nhớ, tránh niệm phải là trí. The mindfulness is not memory at all, as far as I'm concerned. Mindfulness is a process of thinking. It doesn't mean không phải là trí nhớ, tránh nhiệm là một cái tư tưởng. It's a mental process. It does say here specifically remember is the way they talk about it. Remember is not memory. Is keep remembering the breath each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out. They quote uh, some of the Pali Sutras, which say, this, this, is where, this is where the translation is very important. This, he's American, isn't he? Uh, yes. Yes, I know. He's not Chinese yet. <laughs> He's not Vietnamese either. Korean. Asian. He's Caucasian. <laughs> uh, the reason, I'm, please, I'm not making fun, and South I'm making fun, but actually there's a reason for that. Because the Asian culture has the language already. So what we learn is that we say, 
the Caucasian, they don't have language at all when they translate it into mindfulness. It is a problem right away. Okay. What's 
say it. <laughs> I remember when you first came like two months ago. My goodness, look at you. Oh, I don't want to be with you. Uh, yes. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, I just thought, because there's so many methods to reach or in the path, perhaps uh, one method would work better for one other person. It depends on how whether the teacher resonates or you resonate with the teacher mm -hmm. and that particular type of Buddhism. Mm -hmm. It's just like Christianity, there's just so many different versions of it. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I don't want to, uh, I, 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 I became evasive right away, took invasive action right away because he's asking for precision. And if you don't give precision, he says, you are a fool in my leg. I say, I'm not going to give you precision. That way it's less pressure on me. And the reason I went to this source is because he's uh, uh, Tanisaro Biko. He's pretty rigorous and he's very critical of a lot of the other uh, ways of talking about mindfulness that you are as well. Uh, but then, of course, he's going back to his the Pali sources. So he's not looking to Chinese, he's looking to, to the Pali. So I think sati seems to be the word for mindfulness. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, the other aspect to talk about is that. Uh, it has yeah, it's the, the notion of, of watchfulness or alertness and then uh, ardency, like it has the, you just the notion that you you keep at it and you're diligent um, at staying with the object, mm -hmm. what you're focusing on. Mm -hmm. And 
then it also talks about uh, appropriate attention, so that you're paying attention to the right kinds of things. Except James? Well, in their case, um, you know, that they, they bring things back to the Four Noble Truths, so you're looking for stress and what's causing stress, the cause of stress, or and he translates uh, dukkha as stress sometimes, suffering or stress, but you're looking for the cause of suffering in your in the process of dukkha your mind. Is stress. Dukkha is suffering. The translation is incorrect. Mm -hmm. Uses it interchangeably, but Uh, yes. Talking about Caucasian monk, <laughs> yeah. can I add something into it? Yes. I was listening to this lesson. He, he's a Caucasian, he's a monk, he's from Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. And he was um, translating Pali to English. And I remember what he said about, you know, because you mentioned about breathing. Yeah. And he says, rest your mind on breathing. Breathing. That's what he said. I, I thought he meant mindfulness, and his mind was saying, resting your mind. That's what he translated. I don't know if he was mentioning about mindfulness or not, but it seems like he was talking about breathing, mm -hmm. um, you know, putting your mind, resting your mind on mm -hmm. that breathing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. trích dẫn những cái kinh từ tạng Pali ra mà dạy để tránh nghiệm. À, nhiều khi ông thấy ông làm ngâm đúng, ông học hạt thì đúng thì nó cũng dịch ra, dịch trật. Thế là cái người mà dịch trật cho cái gì thấy, không hỏi trả lời không được tin. I say this teacher is not, should not be a teacher. Because he, when he translates wrong, that's when he probably doesn't understand my person. Because the teacher is not, should not be a teacher. Because when he translates wrong, that's when he probably doesn't understand my person. Because the teacher is not, should not be a teacher. Because when he translates wrong, that's when he probably doesn't understand my person. Because the teacher is not, should not be a teacher. Because when he translates wrong, that's when he probably doesn't understand my person. Because the teacher is not, should not be a teacher. Because when he translates wrong, is actually talking about suffering. It's not about stress. Stress is only one form of suffering. So that's why I said, when you look at the translations, okay, uh, the translation indicates the level of understanding of the, of the translator. If the translator translates improperly, then he does not understand the Dharma. Anyway, so you pay attention to that and say, okay, uh, you should be careful when you read this author. Okay, for example, I wouldn't even read this author. I don't want to, please don't mention his name. We raise it in groups. Luckily, the name he talks very quickly. No one gets it except for us. And if you are a Thai, you can see the name of the person. 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 Why? Why am I so picky? Because I do not want to load up on junk. I want accuracy. Okay. That you don't want to be wrong. Học tập cho đúng chính xác của tôi mình thôi. Học không nói chỉ sao là muốn. Có đồng gọi là rác đúng trong cái đầu mình. You say only garbage in your mind. Okay. Meditation is simplification. The spirit of meditation is simplification. Cái tinh thần của cái thiền là giảm dị hóa. It's not about numbers. 
it's about accuracy nó không phải đâu về cái về cái số lượng nhiều về số cái chính xác agree or disagree hmm? meditation when you meditate you simplify lúc quý vị thiền á lúc quý vị đang giảm gì đó đó ok you get rid of what's not necessary when you get rid of the redundancies mình bỏ những cái không cần thiết, mình bỏ những cái mà nó thừa, mình đã có rồi thì mình sang sang mình bỏ. Example, ok. Nào bà con, rồi. Yes, question. Yeah, it's Yeah, 
from our point of view. Anything else? Any other questions or comments? Yes. Um, I had a question, Shoko, about that the, the alertness aspect of mindfulness, how important that is. Like sometimes recently when I'm meditating, I, I don't feel that alert. Like I don't feel like I'm thinking a whole lot, uh, but it's also like there's kind of a lack of alertness. Or like if I try, I don't usually do this, but sometimes I'll try to say focus on counting my breath, which requires a little more alertness. And then I'm often not able to do it, I'll kind of just slip back into, I don't know what state where I'm not really thinking a lot, I'm not aware of a lot of thinking, but I'm also not like uh, alert in that way. When you try the approach of this particular monk, each person is different. Oh, I know you are like a kind of a fun group of people, they are they are not, they are not, they are not. My answer is each teacher is different. I have a problem when you try to analyze the process of doing it. Doing if you analyze too much, then you rely too much on the mental processing, which is typical of the Theravadan approach. And nếu quý vị phân tích quá nhiều, thì quý vị ý lại vào cái cách phân tích cách so đo cái tâm phân tích cái tâm so đo mà cái người bên nguyên thủy người ta chủ trực ok they advocate we need to understand the process cái, cái cách họ dạy họ cái gì phải hiểu phải biết phải hiểu cái phương pháp là sao ok Whereas I prefer my teacher's approach, chính thầy thầy thích cái cách thầy của ân sư thầy dạy hơn. Ông sẽ ông chỉ nói rất nhiều mà nhiều thôi. Con ngồi sẽ bàn về. For example, he says, cross your legs. He doesn't say, you know, meditation. You need to be alert. You need, uh, you need not to sleep. You need um, uh, this. You need that. You need to know this, you need to know this and so on. Well, just be happy. If you really understand how to teach child, if you teach children, if you teach children, then the instruction should be that do this and you will see why. If you teach children, 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 Còn nếu mà con ngồi đó mà con nhớ là thầy bước đầu phải làm như vậy, bước cái gì phải làm như vậy, bước thứ ba phải làm như vậy. Thì cái đầu của vị nó đang làm gì? Đang lo tụi. Thì xin đấy, thì rõ ràng không? Họ đang dạy cái vị nên suy nghĩ, nên lo tụi. Because this is my problem with that approach. If the approach is that if you meditate, you remember the first aspect is this. Second aspect is that. Third aspect is this. The fourth aspect is on. You have go through the hair, the whole laundry, laundry list, like Sui and would like. Okay? So that you're sure you know doing the right, the right thing. Okay? What's the problem with that? I explained that in Vietnamese already, so the Vietnamese can, can stay quiet. What's the problem with that? 
the thinking. He's cursing, he's cursing you, encouraging you to stay and think, oh, number one, number two, number three, number four. Right? And that's, that's, that's the wrong approach. Whereas, the approach my teacher says, cross your legs, one thought, làm một chuyện thôi, con sẽ bằng đi. You see that? Simplification. Giảm gì quá. Cái người mà thấy đường rồi biết cách làm rồi. Con chỉ làm như vậy con sẽ hiểu. Con sẽ, con sẽ làm được. The person who accomplished God, accomplished proper life in this, he says, do this. No more laundry list. Laundry list is later. Cái, những cái phân tích đó sau này, chứ phải bắt đầu, bắt đầu cái phân tích của địa chế. If you start out with analyzing, you dead in the water. No. The new Westerners, so most of us are, are uh, uh, enamored with Western education. You need to understand that's what we explain a little bit to you. Ultimately, I say, cross your legs. Phải giảm cái miệng em, cuối cùng đó, xếp mặt đi con. Next instruction, sit for an hour. Okay. Con sẽ bằng lý, con mù cho thầy một tí nữa. You see that? See the difference? Yes, Randy. Isn't it, uh, is it what they call a chan? It's like adding a head on top of a head. Or riding a donkey, looking for a donkey. Not quite. Mm. Not quite. That refers to a little bit more advanced state, where now, they're dealing, helping you once you get beyond the fundamentals of meditation and you run into the more subtle part of challenges. Okay. That where, unless you're aware of that, you're going to run into trouble. That is, most of us run into the state. Okay. Uh, I don't know why. 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 Họ hoặc là uh, lấy, lấy cái đầu gắn thêm cái đầu gắn thêm cái đầu tôi nhìn ok vậy thì nó không phải như vậy cái này là cái này là nói về đơn bàn bàn về cái trình độ nó, nó cao hơn một tí và lúc cái cái gì tới trình độ cao hơn là cái gì có cái thế kệ when you reach a bit higher states which many my students are nhiều học trò thấy như vậy rồi ok họ vào cái cái trạng thái như cái ông họ này ông bị cái trạng trạng thái của ông ấy for example the question is in that state he doesn't know. And therefore, he's looking for a donkey when he's on a donkey already. And he's no way for you to know. Because you're talking about the trình độ cao rồi, cứ bị cởi lừa, cởi lừa, mà đang kiếm không được. Mà mình không biết. Thành phải cần cái người thầy dạy, nó là con, và trên lừa con kiếm được làm cái gì vậy. So that's why you need a teacher. And he says, you're on top of a donkey already. Why is he looking for a donkey? And you know what? You still look for donkey relax, that's what I tell you. Ok, vị biết không? Quý vị tiếp tục, tiếp tục nhất định phải kiếm con người thì được. Thầy nói thì nói kệ thầy. Nó khó nhưng mà this is why it's so difficult. You get it? They're ready? For example, I'll give you an example that happened last week. Cho thầy, thầy cho cái một ví dụ. I have a, a disciple, a student who reached It's the money already. The common common help dog. Do we have more number? I got back in Now he has problem via the cat. Not the cat. He's stuck. He's looking for way up. The cat. But then keep doing. Then they keep doing the top. The thing goes up. Keep doing. And he can't get up. Okay. And. So I let I came to me a year ago, I mean tới đây là năm rồi, nói hỏi thầy, cầu cứu thầy, thầy nói về trời có lo rồi. So I gave him a vague answer. Actually it wasn't vague answer, but what he interpreted as vague answer. À, để trả lời cho nó, mà nó nghĩ ý là thầy trả lời có lo, thầy trả lời mờ, mờ, mập mờ, cố ý trả lời mập mờ, thầy cố ý trả lời, trả lời như vậy. Để giải hai, hai vấn đề. The reason I 
reason I say it to him it is for two reasons. Number one, to point out to him he's doing something wrong. Number two, to help him overcome or not only fix that problem, but also prepare him for the next phase as well. Vì giáo thầy trả lời như vậy, giáo thầy sẽ muốn cho nó thấy là nó đang làm trật cái chỗ này. Nó phải cần hiểu cái chỗ này, cái chỗ này, cái căn bản cái gì nó làm trật. Xong cái gì nữa là mình sẽ sổ như nó để giúp nó gỡ cái nó sẽ kẹt cái 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 bước sau. Okay, so my birth, my answer is to help him understand that his fundamentals are wrong. Number one, number two, to pay the way for him to overcome another bigger problem. That's going to get him into bigger trouble. Okay? So, last week after the year, finally yelled in the trouble. I said, I told him, 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 nó làm cái lục bình mà thầy mới bắn nói nói nó nhiều cái cái tập khí nó nặng so what happened is that so I I yell him uh, finalized last weekend and then a few days later he sent me email committing a same mistake again my point to you is that when you get higher level more higher level more advanced level you have you run into something called call habit energies. So you have all these habit energies that manifest. Unless you prepare and build the proper fundamentals, you go into all kinds of And cái người này là tại vì cái căn bản thì thiếu. Là khi mà căn này nó lên cao, nó cần này nó cần lộn. Căn này khó. Your habit energy is so heavy that you continue to look for the healthy when you are on top of the healthy. You will not register. Nói là nói thôi, có gì nghe không? Bị bị hổng không có thông thông. Tại cái tập tiếng nó nặng. That's when you need a good moral advisor. Tức là cái việc cần thiện trí thức. You can not go by yourself. Có những người thức là những người thiện trí thức giúp cái gì? vượt qua rất là lẹ nếu mà nếu mà biết còn những từ mò lù ít gì chứ cái gỗ của anh cũng ông nhiều mà anh ngô là một người who think he knows everything he he feels that he can put his mind to it he can fix all the problems and I agree you put your mind to it you fix the problem the difference is that it's going to take you a long long time đương nhiên cái gì buồn cứ 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 ngoài kia ngoài cái này nó ngoài sắc của cái này nó kia chắc chắn thành kia vấn đề là có người tìm kiến thức để dạy mình thì mình cái, cái thành tựu của nó lại nó sớm nó khác với kia một chút nó sẽ rất là người kia have any good no advisory and not have any good no advisory yes where were we anyway <cười> Um, the question is: Is uh, do do I do I? Um, oh my goodness! It's lunch time already. <laughs> we have yet to talk, discuss mindfulness, and we we are out of time already. Đang lần này phải giải cái xong cái chân niệm mà hết thì giờ. Yes, that's what happens when you you uh, BS too much. I guess. <laughs> nói tụi mày tụi bà có một hết gì vậy? Okay, so let me summarize uh, the, um, the, the the concept I just talked about. It's not a laundry list. It's about Chang is about to tell you, you know, to simplify all the instruction to one thing. Sit, sit for an hour. Do this, do that. Cứ lời dạy một cái người hiểu thêm rồi, phải dạy cái gì cách làm, chứ phải là cách hiểu. Because the person who understand meditation will teach you how to do it, not how to understand. Thì 
khác niệm chưa cái người mà hiểu thiền nó dạy cái vị cách được làm chúng ta dạy cái vị cách hiểu chúng ta chú trọng dạy cách làm để cái vị tự hiểu lại để có thể tự để có để có thể tự thể hội được because the teacher understands chant will tell you to do this and do that so that you yourself will understand So when you understand, khi mà quý vị mà hiểu rồi, nghe một cái là hiểu là nó có lý, nó có lý. When you understand, for example, Danny, for the first time, okay, after you understand, you do what, what you told, do this, do that, do that, and you do what you're supposed to be told, and you accomplish, okay, you complete it. Then when you hear this concept, it's like, ah, it makes sense. Ah, it doesn't make sense. Tôi nói cái gì vậy? Nghe những cái tư tưởng, những cái, những cái phân tích mà họ nói đó, nó nói, à, cái này đúng, cái này sai, cái này đúng, cái này sai, mình biết được tự. Is it clear? That's what you experience. You know, you hear it, ah, it makes sense to me. It's because you practiced before, that's why it makes sense to me. Như cái câu này, Cô nói tôi nghe cái lời giảng nó có lý đối với tôi Cái giảng cái nó có lý đối với tôi Một chồng mới bắt đầu bắt đầu thiền Cái nói là tại vì cô đã từng thiền rồi Phải là người thiền của thiền rồi Bây giờ cô nghe Nó không hiểu chứ Nó không Là tại mình đã từng nghe rồi Đã từng hiểu Yes Thế thì là Thưa thầy con nghĩ cái cách này nó Nói cái nghĩa ở đâu của mình thì dễ hơn Tại vì người ở đâu của mình là thường là Nghe lời cha mẹ Nghe những người lớn tuổi nghe các bậc thầy À, mà không cần phải hiểu gì hết người lớn tuổi đó các thầy nói mình phải làm như anh sư của thầy nói là ngồi đó thì thầy sẽ ngồi nhưng mà đối với người tây phương thì phần đông họ phải hiểu họ mới làm họ phải có được cái bếp là thì họ mới, mới thấy được cái 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 lợi ích thì họ mới làm thì có lẽ là khó hơn cho người tây phương cũng hơn người ở đâu cũng làm đó. He says it's easier for the Asians or the the Jews to get to do what they told. Whereas for the Caucasians or the Western educated people, they need to be explained before they feel comfortable doing. Okay. And I agree with that. In fact, the in order to teach Chan in this country, they don't need to know. Okay. It has to be a combination of both with Belan Haka. When we're So I say that in this country, the approach I learned is that you have to teach them what to do and then explain to them. That's why we have half an hour, usually over an hour, to dog and talk like this, because we explain things to you. So this is, has always been the case, by the way, in the Asian teaching. The Chan teaching has always been that, that way as well. We, we sit first and then we explain to you. When we talk, we explain the principles to you. What happens when you sit in all these thoughts of our eyes? Questions that are naturally arise. Who know that we don't call you that? Then we are good. He was shot from the other side. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. Shall we continue, or you want to go to lunch? Lunch. Okay. Vicky says lunch. She's voting lunch unanimously. Okay. Uh, shall we continue this next time then? Because uh, we still are barely scratching the surface. Tục sau mình mình nói tiếp nha. Tại cái trang nhìn còn nhiều lắm. Còn còn at least I have at least one more session, một lần để mình hiểu hơn một tí. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, if you could continue and quote the various. Uh, Great masters on mindfulness and great authors on mindfulness, and I will talk about the nghiên cứu về những cái tác giả những vị thầy dạy về chánh niệm để mình mình bàn 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 được.
did to Shopify. Okay? Let's do some more research. If you will, you have some time, you have the inclination, do some research so that you can dissect it and try to understand more about mindfulness. Um, but uh, maybe Thomas can do more elaborate research. But he's starting on the right track. That is, this is how the uh, you need to look at the authorities on the topic and see what they teach you. But then the Muhammad is like the only who quite a little bit the Julia and that more than you can because it's helpful at all. At all, at all, at all. My only question is that part of this process is that you learn to discern who you can trust. Okay? And then you tell, when you end up like Kimya, and you can learn more about it, you can learn more about it, you can learn more about it, you can learn more about it. Okay? Alright, very good. Let's stop here today. Thanks for coming. I know I've got a chance to come here. This is very far. This is my closing statement. But, uh.